Hello Salimik, have you opened the gas tank and you hear this? Well, in today's video, I will show you how to clean and check EVAP canister purge valve solenoid. So let's see how the EVAP canister purge valve system works. The fume and the gas vapor travel by a pipe to charcoal canister and there is one vent solenoid and the other line goes to EVAP canister purge valve solenoid. When the ECU open the valve, all the vapor will go to intake manifold and then burn with the gas. If your car starting hard after filling up the gas, it means the valve stuck open and every time filling up the gas, it pushes all the vapor into the intake manifold, which means the amount of fuel will be much more than the oxygen and it will be hard to start the engine with all that gas vapor. And every time this happens after driving, it means the evap purge valve not working to release the pressure. Alright, let's disconnect the wire harness and the hoses. One hose came from charcoal canister and the other one goes to intake manifold. I'm gonna remove the solenoid and show you how to clean it properly and test it to see if it's working or not. You can unscrew it here or pull it, it's much easier like this. The valve should be normally closed and if you blow it here, it shouldn't come out from the other line. Next, I'm gonna open the valve with using alligator wire like this and give it 12 volts. And it doesn't matter which one is a positive or negative, it's a coil and it works both ways. If you hearing clicking sound like this, it means the solenoid working and opening the valve. For cleaning, never use any of these cleaners. I will show you why in a minute. Always use mass airflow sensor, it's much safer for plastic. Cleaning purge valve solenoid is very easy. Just spray mass airflow sensor with closed valve like this and then give it 12 volts and spray again with open valve like this. Okay, while we're gonna let it dry, I'm gonna show you why you should not be using other cleaners. Here we have two polystyrene cups, mass airflow sensor and a carb cleaner. We all know polystyrene cups very weak for chemicals. We're gonna spray some mass airflow sensor in this cup and some carb cleaner in this cup. If you look at the mass airflow sensor cleaner, it didn't react with the cup and the cup stayed clear. But if you look at the carb cleaner, we can clearly see that it became hazy and it is dissolving the cup and if you leave it more, it will eat the cup and leaks out. Alright, the valve is dry, I'm gonna make sure it's completely dry. Let's put it back again. The installation will be reverse of how we removed it. By the way, the car was fine and didn't have any problem. I did this video cause some of my subscribers asked me how to clean and check evap canister purge valve solenoid. Alright, we are done with cleaning and checking evap canister purge valve solenoid. Let's start the engine to see if you have any check engine light. Hope the video gave you some information how the evap system works and how to check it. If the video was helpful and learned something new, like and subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.